avocados, truly a gift from nature. If you're like me and you can't get enough guacamole in the house, these nutritional powerhouses are always in stock. If you've ever cut into an avocado, you'll know that it has a large pit or seed inside. Amazingly, this seed can actually be sprouted to grow a new avocado plant of your very own. It's a super easy process that does take a little bit of time. However, it's fun. So let's look at the steps that you need to do to grow your own avocado plant right from a store-bought avocado. Hey guys, this is your first time visiting the Ripe Tomato Farms channel. First up, I want to thank you for stopping by. Here, we talk about all the best tips and strategies that you can use to grow the best backyard veggies. So hey, if growing fresh fruit and vegetables for you and your family is something you're passionate about, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. To start this project off, you'll need four things. First up, you'll need an avocado from the store. The riper, the better. Feel the fruit with a gentle squeeze, ensuring that it's most definitely not rock hard. Next, you'll need a small jar of water to suspend the avocado seed in. Make sure that the mouth of the jar isn't too wide, as the wider that jar gets, the harder it is to actually suspend that seed. You'll need three strong toothpicks per avocado seed, or in this case, what I use, three inch long sections of bamboo barbecue skewers. And lastly, you'll need a sharp knife for cutting through that avocado skin. To cut your avocado, slice the fruit lengthways, slightly offset from the middle to avoid hitting that seed inside. Pry the fruit apart, exposing that green edible flesh that we're all familiar with, as well as that desired nut right in the middle. Pop that big seed out and clean it thoroughly with a piece of paper towel. Now that the avocado seed is clean and no longer slippery, you can begin removing that outer brown skin layer. It simply peels off quite readily. Now that you have a perfectly clean and exposed avocado seed, you need to determine the orientation of that seed to be able to suspend it in the water. The bottom of the seed will appear quite flat and in some cases even depressed. This is where the roots will come from. The top of that nut is often pointed, telling you that's where the shoots will grow from. Begin by inserting your toothpicks through the soft shell of that avocado nut about half an inch deep. Stick them in at 45 degree angles pointing upwards and use about three toothpicks equidistant from each other per seed. With the three toothpicks now at 45 degree angles inserted into the seed, we can now suspend them in our jar of water. Ideally, you want about 75% of the seed actually submerged, with just the top of the seed, where the shoot comes out, exposed. Place your seed or seeds in a warm location, making sure to top up that water and keep an eye on it because it will evaporate. In about two weeks, if you can keep that seed at a constant temperature between 80 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit, your seed will actually begin to crack. And in another week or so, a large thick taproot will actually begin to appear climbing down into the water. Moving along, 
In about one to two weeks, within the crack of that seed, a shoot will begin to form and the actual nut itself will begin to turn green. At this point, be patient and keep an eye on the water levels. If you've kept that temperature at a nice 80 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and you've made sure that the water levels have stayed nice and high within about two to three months from when you first started this project, you will have a fully formed avocado plant. The plant itself grows amazingly tall in just water, and when mine reach about four inches tall, that's when I start to plant them up. Personally, I use six inch standard nursery pots to plant my growing avocado seeds in initially. It's a great manageable size pot that actually lets the plant get firmly established without being too large that it takes up too much space. Begin by filling your pot with a quality organic potting or seedling mixture. Fill that pot right to the top without compressing it at this time. Now stop, don't plant just yet. Avocados are tropical. To ensure transplanting success, you need to warm that soil up for a few hours. This will help that young seedling avoid transplant shock. To pot up your new avocado plant, simply depress your jar into the soil to a depth that the nut itself would be about 75% buried. Next, take the toothpicks out and place the plant, nut and all, into that hole you just made. Fill the hole in, compressing the soil all around the plant. At this point, I do like to add a bit more soil to the pot, up to the point where the seed is 50 to 75% buried. This way I know all the roots are underneath the soil. Place that pot back in ideal tropical conditions for at least another month. You really want these young seedlings to get established. And as always, water from below. As you can see guys, growing your own avocado plant from a seed is super easy. It's really fun to do with kids and the time it takes means it's just that much more rewarding. So if you like avocados, give it a try. And even if you don't, it actually makes quite an attractive houseplant. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video.